time to have a look at the month ahead for Scorpio, the month of November. And it looks like, well, the country has been trading quite a difficult path of late, and there doesn't seem to be much evidence of that changing anytime soon. The financial situation looks very much the same. There's a lot of unpredictability. There's gains as well as losses. And as we've seen over the last month, we are very strongly affected at the moment by other currencies and things not directly related to our own economic situation. That's going to get even more so over the course of the next month. But the financial situation, electricity crisis, the various different factors seem to be creating the kind of pressure that forces South Africans to kind of take a stand and forces the country, the government perhaps, to really take a good, long, hard look at itself. In many ways, this is just what we need. It looks from the chart's point of view that civil society, citizens, and to some extent even government are doing exactly that. This is a time when we'd be looking at what our, what our goals are, what we're trying to achieve as a nation, and whether or not we're actually doing that. We know that the government is really more fixated on itself than on preserving its power and doing what it needs to be. And that's why when the chart talks about social things and community things, it's more likely to be talking about the efforts of civil society than on any effort by the government to do so. So this really is a great time for ourselves as citizens to become involved in a bigger way. The, the social forces in uh, the, our astrological chart are really, really strong at the moment, and this is where we can benefit from them. We do see a lot of that happening in the way that we do things as South Africans and what we've been doing of late. Even in a small sense, you can look at something like you know, the outcry about uh, Ramaphosa changing the ministerial handbook so that ministers get even more benefits and are even more distance from the people. He responded to that because it was a kind of exposure of a, a very obvious double standard. There's obviously plenty more double standards we can aim for and we need to take advantage of those kind of things. Good old strike while the iron is hot. It does look like the power lies with us at the moment. Opposition forces are somewhat in disarray. While there's a certain amount of gain being shown to them, maybe that's to do with uh, getting Pala Pala looked at more closely, various different things that uh, they have achieved. But for the most part, the most erratic part of the chart remains the opposition. So not only um, do we have the problem of a government that is really self-interested, we also have weak opposition uh, in this country at the moment, or fragmented uh, opposition in this country at the moment and that again takes it back to us and we look at the chart right now and we see where are the strong points and where are the weak points the strong point is the people the weak point is the opposition and as we've said before the government is just busy doing its own thing and it's largely I guess disconnected from both the people and the opposition and is running this ship alone we know that tends to really um, run the country to suit the party and to suit the government and that makes more sense than ever in the chart at the moment. It might be something that's been true for a very long time, but the fact that it's now beginning to show so clearly in the chart portends some change, both in the growth of civil society and opposition from the people as well. But it really does look like the people and the various different factors, business, etc. in the country are beginning to look to further resources to achieve what they need to achieve. What this can be interpreted as astrologically is that the, the government is losing its hold, hold on the information and on the voters. The government has relied and, um, and developed as much voter ignorance as it can, and it looks like the people are the ones who are getting around that, of course. It's time to educate ourselves and educate each other, because that's what's going to really make the difference. So when we look at the chart, we can see this looking to further horizons for inspiration and for input. It does mean that there's also going to be 
greater interest in what's happening outside of our borders. And that can be a good and a bad thing. We know that there's uh, conflict and danger going on in Europe. There's a lot of instability elsewhere in the world. And it does look like we are connecting further and further to that. By which I mean we're really getting affected by it more. So we're bound to see prices of things and resources continue to get affected by the instability and the conflict brewing in Europe and the remaining forces around the world which are affected by that. I'm resisting saying global community because there isn't a sense of community in the world. There is in this country and that's the difference that we can make. That's the thing that we can foster at the moment is the kind of we are all in this together and there's a way that we can go from there. And as I've said frequently and repeatedly today, the solution doesn't lie within political parties because no end of the spectrum is able to offer us anything in that. And there does seem to be good resources, good information coming from outside places. Outside places are not only other countries, they're also um, ideas and ideologies and information. And you know that's something that we also need to have a look at in this country as well. A lot of where we are is built on ideology, but a lot of those ideologies come out of considerably earlier in the 20th century. And we're not in the 20th century anymore. We're not in the same circumstances. We have a look at the current government that doesn't even seem to know what its ideology is, but is still drawing on these old ideologies and trying somehow to make them fit into a picture it probably doesn't even really know or understand. There are variations on that theme that you can find even when you look at other parties who seem to be developing or drawing on newer ideologies. Those ideologies arise out of desperation, out of the economic situation that we're in, and they arise out of opposition to the ideology in charge. And we can just do everything that they're not doing, which may go a certain way to help, but in the end, isn't the solution we're looking for now. The chart is showing it's time to develop new ideas and new ideologies. And the only safe place to start, that's why people and civil society, intellectuals, sources of ideas, uh, universities, etc., rather than those already in politics. It's difficult. How exactly do we implement that? We have to rely on those intellectual leaders and leaders of policies to do that. But it's time to realign ourselves as South Africans rather than looking at what, which party should I belong to. It's where do I find my ideas that I can help grow and invest my energy there and perhaps in the future we'll have a better party system that can help with that. In the long run we're heading to elections and the battle of ideologies still a couple of years ahead but we can really see all of that getting into place time to get our own ideas and ideologies in place so that in the future we'll be voting from that point of view rather than the party that sways us with the greatest rewards. For Aries, this is a month of exploration for you. It's time to have another check in with what's going on around you, your immediate environment. We often ignore our own neighborhood, neighbors even, and we look for far off places and interesting things out there without knowing what's going on right around us. Well, Aries, this is the time to find out all the riches that are available to you. It's not just about exploring the neighborhood. There are resources available to you. There are new people available to meet. And of course, perhaps people who can help you on your way in some fashion. It seems that by connecting locally, you will reach out far and wide. It's another way of saying Expect things where they aren't usually found. That's people, that's resources, and that's opportunities. So that's the real secret motivation for why you need to reconnect with what's going on around you. What you thought you knew is actually able to provide you with what you didn't know was there or what you may not even really know you needed. It's going to advance your goals specifically as well as personal goals, professional goals, whatever they may be. It's a great opportunity to go ahead. Also important to get your creativity fired up for those goals, but make use of what's available to you in a creative way. And you're doing what needs to be done. Taurus is all about getting back to basics and knowing what's really for you and what isn't going to help you at all. Whether that's people, whether that's opportunities and resources, whatever it may be, you need to kind of 
sort the wheat from the chaff, and that might mean confronting a few people or situations. The good news about that is this doesn't look like it's some kind of difficult confrontation or even uh, aggressive or any of those kind of things that confrontations usually are. You'll find people amenable and willing to negotiate. So this is a month of negotiation for you. That's also going to benefit your personal life. This is a great opportunity to kind of weave together and interpolate what you want, what your partner wants, what's going on around you, and everything will seem to work in this much more cooperative fashion. That's really what this month is going to have to be all about, cooperation. But that does not mean yielding or putting yourself second or too much compromise. The challenge to you is be firm and clear don't compromise, but do cooperate. And with that kind of mantra in your head, don't compromise, but do cooperate, you'll find that happy balance that you're looking for and be able to attend to your own needs, which are the most important things right now. You're going to have to make some big changes to be able to do that, but keep things in balance and your changes will come to fruition. Gemini's, it looks like you could be lacking some of that balance at the moment and most likely too much going on and not enough taking a break, which sounds like the perfect solution exists for that. More fun, more holiday, more taking a break, which is great. And that doesn't mean you must slack off because if you just slack off, you're going to have unbalance in the other direction. So balance needs to be found. Your symbolism of the twins is about versatility, but it's also about the need for balance and the difficulty in finding it and sometimes that feeling of pulling in two different directions. So cut out all the external unnecessaries. Make sure that you're focusing goals-wise on what's important to you and what's really going to serve you in some way. But more importantly, balance that out with more time for yourself, time for things that you love to do and maybe even time just doing nothing. You look like you've got way too much on your plate at the moment. There are all sorts of extras. I'll call them extra stimulating things. So they may seem great and useful and interesting, and they probably are. But right now, they're a little bit like too much of a good thing. So you need to simplify, bring things back down to the minimum, and ask yourself, what do I really need in terms of my goals? And how can I balance that with an equal amount of simple relaxation? Cancer, you've also got a little bit too much going on, and it's not just a question of balance and getting your balance sorted out. It's really a question of taking care of yourself, down to taking care of your health, taking care of your world, taking care of your relationships. It could be that there's just too much going on, but even if it doesn't look like you've got an awful lot on your plate, you really still need to look back at yourself. In extreme cases, your health could even be suffering. So maybe what you thought was tiredness or a cold or whatever, it's really just your body saying to you, hey, take it easy, I need a bit of a break as well. This isn't about finding breaks and having more fun. It's really just about not weighing yourself down with too many stressful things that are demanding your attention in all sorts of different directions. It really looks from the charts, really, that it's a, it's a question of things like, other people benefiting more than you from what you're doing. So you're putting a lot of energy in and getting relatively little in return. Maybe it's time to be a little bit more selfish with regards to that and prioritize the goals that serve your own needs, the goals that need to be done because of what you want out of them rather than what's expected from you or what you need to provide for other people. So bring it back to yourself, but most importantly, take care of yourself. It looks like you're taking too much strain and you need a bit of a break. Leo, it looks like in terms of all your goals and all the stuff you're trying to do, everything's really working well, the world is cooperating with you. If only the people in the world were cooperating with you quite as well. So the, the issues and hassles are really coming from those around you at the moment. And that doesn't mean that relationships are doing badly or anything like that. It just means that you need to get either, either everyone onto the same page or some better level of cooperation going on. And to be fair, the problem might be a little bit more with yourself than it is with them. So sometimes in order to cooperate, your leadership style is a little bit too strong. And although Leos are great leaders and are especially good 
at getting everyone together to achieve a common goal. And if you're in a creative sphere, that's all the truer. That doesn't change, and you're still going to have to do a lot of that. But you also need to sometimes have a little bit more tact and compassion and those kind of things that just ensure that your leadership is not coming across too strong. So then it means you need to make some changes, be willing to back down, be willing to change some things, and that's what's going to help others let go of whatever they might be hanging on to. So you change a little bit, they change a little bit, but we can all get together and follow your goal to get greater cooperation with a much better result. Virgo, the way things are being done at the moment, the way your plans are busy unfolding, etc., isn't quite working according to plan. And it's time for you to perhaps change some of those plans because not only is the frustration going to increase, but it looks like you're leaking energy, resources, enthusiasm, all of those kind of things could just drain away and you don't want that to be happening. So it's time to put some boundaries in place, get a little bit more selfish, rope things in a little bit and get back down to you using your money, your resources for what you want to achieve because it can also make a little bit of resentfulness happen in the background as well. It does seem as if you're going to have to deal with someone who's acting as a bit of a shadow or a blockage in your life at this moment. This could also be related to personal life in some way. For some of you that relates to children and some of you that's going to relate to your personal romantic kinds of relationships. But there could be a bit of a power struggle going on even if it's a hidden power struggle and you do need to sort that out so that you don't suffer any more losses draining away of your own resources. So. Put the boundary around your camp, sort out the relationships with everyone in your camp, and things are going to work much more smoothly for you. Libra, it looks like you're ready to branch out, and if you did branch out right now, it's going to have good results, but actually you probably need to be a little bit more strategic and get your timing right. Maybe next month or the month after is going to work even more for you. Because when it comes to professional matters, and perhaps personal matters as well, this is a time to stamp your authority onto whatever's happening. Business-wise, this is when you can put it all together and really take on the identity of the business or the strength of the business or something like that. But there's lots of opportunity to make your mark in some way. It also means a little bit of sticking with your guns, maybe you know, sticking with what you've already established and making sure that everyone's going along with that as well. But there is room for new input and expansion as long as that core is there that says, I'm really just um, re-establishing and enforcing the establishment of what I've achieved so far. That could be something like brand or something. Don't mess with it now. You're just at the point where everything is getting into place. And the same is happening in your personal life. Things are beginning to fit into exactly where they need to be for a while. Be careful that you don't upset your own apple cart by being unnecessarily confrontational or forceful. Work with what you have. Build on that. Don't create anything new just yet. Scorpio, it's time to kick everything into action. All the ducks you've been lining up, everything that you've been preparing, all the resources you've been acquiring. No more time to procrastinate or wait for the right moment. The right moment has arrived. So get things into action. It's not the same as expecting immediate results. There won't be immediate results. This is the month of making it happen. And then in the months ahead, you'll see the results coming out of that. In the meanwhile, a little bit of action right now goes a long way. What is important is to put your creative energy behind what you're doing. In astrology, creativity doesn't necessarily mean the arts. It means you putting your energy into something, you putting your stamp on something, you being the source of what's going on around you. So Scorpio, it's time to be the source of what's going on around you. And on the subject of being the source, there's also your kids. So you might find that whether you're talking about your children in the house, your biological children, or as well as in professional or elsewhere, anyone who's depending on you in some fashion, be it for resources or because you're the leadership, this is really just, just the time to make sure you're exercising your control, your authority, your origination of what are we all doing here to achieve my goals. Everyone seems to be willing though. 
and there's a good connection with you and those around you. Take advantage of it, get them all lined up, and let's make this happen. Sagittarius, even though you love to do everything yourself and you're independent and you're out there and off you go, sometimes you need to remember your more social side. You are good with people and you are good with friends. Well, this is a month to be concentrating on your social circle, on your friends, and not only on what that is all about just in terms of social life and the pleasures that come along with it, but also in terms of perhaps goals that you could achieve, doors that could be opened for you by all the new friends and associates that you could be making this month. It does look like there's a potential for a lot of gain this month. And that really is not only gain in terms of your social circle, which is unmistakably there, but financial gain. So make sure that you're also meeting the right people and keeping your avenues open and your doorways open because people are not only connected to us via the heart, but we help each other out. And this is one of those months where you can look at Who's scratching my back and whose back do I need to be scratching? On the subject of gaining and financial gain and all those kind of gains that come along with it, it might be that you're letting out as much as you're getting back. So this is also a time when you need to be a little bit more cautious and not kind of as wild and free and easy with your spending as you might have been for the last couple of months. Just be a little bit more conservative. Concentrate on people resources. That's going to make things work for you. Capricorn, in the early part of this unfolding month, you may have to kind of deal with some unfinished business, get things done and get things out of your way. There does seem to be a bit of a backlog that you're having to deal with that first must be done before you can do anything else. But once we get to the anything else, then it's a really go-ahead time for you. This does mean that you're going to have to let go of a lot of old baggage that you've been carrying around. And this is the baggage that you want to let go of. It's not... Um, things that you're comfortable with. You know that you've outworn them. You know that there's some big changes that you need to make. Well, this is the time that you should be making them. Let go of all of those things means um, putting new things in their place. So this is a great time for be it renovating, for changing something quite fundamentally and getting new structures in place in some way. In your professional life, it's time to establish new systems as well as perhaps establish some authority. Capricorns are not short of any authority and you usually find that people will be willing to follow along and pay attention, maybe even if they're not so willing, but they do do that. But it does mean that you need to show some of the benefits of the changes that you're making. It's really about getting rid of the old baggage, getting rid of what is in the way, making lots of space. You can do that in your home environments as well. This is a great month for making big changes around the home. Go forward with a clean slate. Aquarians could also do with letting some of let, letting go of some of the old baggage and things that you've been doing for too long. It doesn't mean let go of everything. This is not the time for a clean sweep, Aquarians, but it is a great time to reassess everything that you've been doing. Over the last few months, you've built up a lot of momentum and probably a lot of success in the paths you've been taking and the goals that you've been doing. This is going to work to your advantage and you still need to work on putting those things forward, taking those things to the next level. You've achieved a certain amount of level or recognition or authority. This is the time to build on that. But at the same time, in order to be able to get there, in order to be able to get that far, this is also the time to pause for a second and say to yourself, what is a time to leave behind as well? Not everything or everyone can come along on this journey with me. And you might need to make some difficult choices and difficult decisions in terms of how do I go ahead from now and how do I kind of streamline and clean out without causing too much disruption around me and without causing any conflict or disappointment in the people around you. You do need to make good boundaries and make sure it's your goals and your vision that is pursued, but it also looks like you're going to have the right people on board along with you. So don't be shy. Share your vision. The right people are going to come with you to execute it. Pisces, it looks like your ship has come in. Sorry for the pun and sorry for the cliché. But it really does look like it's a month of gain and increase and everything that's good. Which would be great if you weren't a little bit of your own worst enemy when things like this are going on. So you need to have a look at receiving and accepting 
easily, welcomingly, lovingly everything that is coming your way. It does seem as if you're feeling a little bit um, low in self-esteem or whether you really deserve whatever's coming your way and it's important to shift yourself in order that you're able to really benefit from the gains that are going on in your life. Your chart suggests that you're not seeing yourself very clearly, you might not be seeing what's going on in your life very clearly. Could be a great idea to get a second opinion from someone you love and just do some basics that demonstrate to yourself how well things have been working, how well you've been doing and how you deserve the rewards that are coming your way. It's not too difficult because it looks like they're coming your way anyway and at some point you've got to say, well, if it's coming to me, I may as well accept it. I presumably deserve it even if I can't see so myself. It does look like you'll be able to put that to good use, but be very careful that you don't let emotional decisions and emotional reactions undo the gains that you've made this month. Just be a little bit more selfish. It's going to work for you.